Hello, John. I see that you have an order placed on September 17th that is currently shipped. Are you referring to this order or a different one? With the Gemini Live API, your AI app can enable low latency audio and video interactions. In this video, we take a look at how to use the API to generate your first audio. Let's look at a practical use case of the Gemini Live API that uses function calling to retrieve customer order history. Hey, my package hasn't arrived yet. Hello, John. I see that you have an order placed on September 17th that is currently shipped. So let's set up a virtual environment in Python and activate it. Then we install the SDK and get started. Next, let's activate the environment we just created. The next thing to do is to add a new file, that is a .m file, to store my Gemini API key. Then I will add a new Python file. I will bring the integrated terminal with control and backtick and install the Gemini SDK with this pip command. I will add the following imports. This consists of the required libraries for file handling, audio processing, environment variables and Google's Gen AI SDK. Next, I will add the following code snippets. First, we load the environment variable from the .m file to retrieve the Gemini API key and initialize the Gen AI client with the provided API key. Next, we will add model and session configuration. So we select the Gemini model capable of real-time audio input and output and configure the session to expect audio responses and also set our system prompt. Then we set the default URL for sample audio. Next, we will define an async function for end-to-end -end audio interaction. So this main function will do four main things. We open a real-time session with the specified Gemini audio model. We define the input audio file path and auto download the sample audio if it is not present. Secondly, we will override the input path via environment variable. Next, we will validate and read the input audio file and read the raw PCM audio data as well. Then we send the audio input to the live session. So the last thing we should do is to prepare the output audio file for the model's response. Then we stream and run the audio responses as they arrive. Let's run the file in the terminal. You have noticed here we now have two audio files. We have audio.wav and also a sample audio. So the sample audio is the user's input voice. Hey, can you hear me? Audio.wav is the response from the agent. Yes, I can hear you. How can I help you today? 